So hi, this is Mr. Hessel, and I wanted to show you uh, around Google Classroom. Um, all of these classes that you're seeing right now, these are all the stuff that I am in, including uh, the physics classes and the astronomy class. Um, now, these guys are you. We have uh, period three, two even, seven, eight even, nine, eight odd. Zero students right now because I'm recording this before school has started. So you guys will be populating those classes. Um, but I unarchived uh, last year's class, so I want to show you how that looks. Now, in the first section right here, we have stream. Now, stream is literally like a stream, kind of like the way Twitter works, where it's just a stream of information. Um, if I have something to share with you, like an announcement, I will put that in the stream because there's really no other place to put it. Um, but the uh, that's really kind of the only thing stream is good for. I can tell you right now, do not use stream to watch for postings and assignments and whatnot. You're just going to go crazy trying to follow it. Um, all of the postings and assignments that you're going to need and what have you are in classwork right up here to the right of stream. Um, and uh, that's a super important point. And uh, if you don't know that, you can get lost in Google Classroom. Um, also, if uh, we're doing Google Meet, one way to get into the Google Meet is to click um, this link right here, Meet link, and, uh, and that will open up Google Meet. And you can kind of go from there. If we're having class, uh, you can join from there. Um, there I am. And uh, so here, there I go. Bye-bye. Um, but just wanted to show you that. And then, all right. Um, so there's the stream. And then if we click classwork, now all of the stuff that I'm going to post here, every single thing, if I hand you something in person physically, it will absolutely also be in Google Classroom. Most of the stuff we're going to do this year will be on Google Classroom only. Um, we're going to try and avoid paper as much as we can. Um, and if we find that we need to do paper, that's fine. But I can tell you, we are not exchanging paper. Um, you're not, you're not handing in assignments. Um, I may look at your work, but I'm not taking anything from you, um, just to avoid COVID spread. Uh, but anyway, so this is from last year. This is remote teaching and learning spring 2020. That was when, remember spring 2020, well, that was the remote situation there. So that's unique to that, but going down. We have assignment postings. If I'm going to give you an assignment, I'm going to post it in assignment postings with a date. Um, so therefore, when, and the reason why I put a date on it is so that it goes onto your uh, Google Calendar that you can track it. Um, that's, you can see here, this class is on the upper left um, and you can click calendar. Right now there's nothing there because it's still, we haven't started school yet. Back to classes. Back to here, classwork. Um, so there's assignment postings and the assignments that I'm going to give you, I'm going to put them in assignment postings. Um, do nows, if we do any do nows, I'm going to put that in the do now category. Um, that, that would be, you know, activities to start the class. Uh, any handouts that don't go in any other category are going to go there. Things like your reference tables, our class contract, that kind of thing. Um, any labs that we do, any lab handouts or, or whatnot, um, are going to be posted in labs. If I'm assigning a lab to be turned in, I'm going to put that in assignment postings. Anything that's an assignment gets posted in the assignment postings. Um, but the handouts or worksheets or whatever that go with labs go in the category labs. Um, then we have midterm review. That's self-explanatory when we when the midterm comes up. Uh, anything that's notes, any PowerPoints, any slide decks, anything that can give you that 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 goes into notes is going to go into the notes category. Um, regents exams, old regents exams, um, and their solutions and regents review. That would be closer to June, but it has it. They have their own separate categories. And then this says Solutions Blue Book. I don't know that we're using the blue books this year, but um, any solution sets to problems that we do, I'm going to be posting them um, either. This is Blue Books and, and Worksheets. Um, so any solution sets that we have, I'll be posting those. 
and then any uh, review for tests. I think tests are going to work differently this year um, than traditional tests. Still figuring that out. Um, but it, whatever it's, that's called summative assessment, whatever uh, review we have for summative assessment is going to go there. And then finally, worksheets um, that we're going to be working out of problem sets and what have you are going to go there. Um, so let me actually show you that was last year's class, but here's this year. And so right now there's like nothing there. There's nothing announced. Um, I haven't said anything yet because you haven't joined the classroom yet. Um, and but here's classwork. As I said, assignment postings, do nows, lab activities, worksheets and problem sets, notes, handouts, solutions, solutions, uh, quiz and test review materials, Mits and review materials for review, more review, 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 review. I mean, I think the I tried to make them self-explanatory. Um, and that that's pretty much it for Google Classroom. There's not much more to say, but um, I think the number one takeaway is that if you're trying to track things that I'm posting to Google Classroom, assignments, labs, whatever, do not try to track that with the stream. Instead, watch the classwork and, and things will show up in those categories. Um, yeah, the stream will tell you when I share things. It'll um, And if I have an announcement to tell you, I, I can post that in the stream. That's particularly important if we go full remote. If we go full remote, um, I will sometimes announce things on the Google Classroom in the stream. But if you're looking for the materials, they are all organized by topic, by what they are in classwork. You can see that right here laid out for you. I tried to make it as clear as day. Um, so I hope that's uh, useful. If you have any questions or whatever, don't hesitate to uh, reach out to me and, um, and good luck.